went uh, to Bob Hope Medical Center. I was turning 70. So I said, well, I, I haven't been to a doctor in years. I need to go have a physical and find out things. So I went over to Bob Hope and went through the whole regime, regiment, and they found something hard on my right side, which they thought was something wrong with my liver. But they discovered that I had a growth on my kidney the size of a, it was huge. So they sent me over here, and then I met Dr. Primal Desai, and we talked, and they're still reluctant because, you know, you don't, you don't want to be cut on, you, don't, you want other opinions, and just whatever. But in the final analysis, Dr. Desai was like such an amazing human being as far as sitting down and explaining, showing me, talking to me about every, every step that we would be taking. So I, I, I agreed to have the surgery. It had been 30, 40 years since I'd seen a doctor. So this was a totally new experience for me. So we got through, I had the surgery, and the next thing I, I knew, I woke up in my room at Cedars, and uh, Dr. Desai, he came in the next day, or, or that day, I don't know, it's, but he came in and he was, he was right there on it. I had great nurses, I had great care at Cedars, I must say, really, really good. Like I say, Dr. Desai is an amazing man for me. He uh, uh, later called me in, this was in April, to tell me that I needed to have prostate surgery. Had the surgery, it was not as invasive, they went through the laparoscopic and that whole thing. I look at uh, how I've held up through this from October to April to now. And I'm really in better shape now than I've been in a long time. Back in the, about five or six, six weeks ago, I was here, Dr. Desai, he says, Ken, you need to go back to the gym. He says, the gym is what saved you mm -hmm. in the first place. He says, you, did, you didn't know you were preparing yourself for this. But I was working out really you know, every day and doing what I do. So five weeks ago, I got back in the gym and I feel so Good now. I'm, I'm, I've taken up things that uh, are pretty amazing now. Since I have, I'm in semi-retirement. I still work a bit, but uh, I've taken up knitting. But at each one of the the people at the desk, they greet you. They and they're busy. These phones are ringing, and people are coming in, and people are impatient. And I pick up, get in here, and I pull out my knitting needles, and I knit. They are so amazing, these people here. They, all the women here, they take such good care of me. I don't know if I'm just special, but I feel like I'm just special.